Hi, this is Danny from the Whiteboard blog, and this is a short Teach Tweet presentation. Um, as well as doing ICT training, I'm also a, a PGC lecturer um, for a couple of skits uh, courses on the science lecturer. So what I thought I'd show you today is some of my um, favorite websites that I can't use um, for teaching science. So the, the first website I want to start with is something called Zygote Body. Um, this a few years ago was was what was the Google Body Browser, and it's now um, been sold off by Google and rebranded. Um, but it's a very nice way of of interacting and zooming in on human body. Um, over the left hand side, you've got a slider, so you can gradually peel off different layers. Just look at the muscles, look at the bones, and so on, which is kind of cool. You can get inside and look at the organs, um, but also. If you want to, you can change the mode and slide on and off different parts. So if you wanted to just focus on the skeleton, you can do it. You can zoom right in, look at the bones, um, or you can then turn on digestive system internal organs, maybe. So we can just look at those and turn on the circulatory system as well. Spin that around, and we can zoom in. And if you click on any part, it'll pop up and tell you the name of it. So if you're interested, but um, as an interactive way of, of just look at the things like the skeleton, which um, we need to do in, in year four and so on. Um, I think it's quite a useful little little tool to be able to call up. You might need to change your browser. Um, it works well in Chrome. I've got the new Firefox. It works well in that one. But I know there were some problems with some browsers in the past. But uh, do take a look. Uh, another one is Solar System Scope. So this is um, a nice way of looking at the, the solar system, modeling the solar system. The planets are kind of not to scale in terms of the distance, obviously, and um, in terms of the size, but that's just to make it slightly easier to use. But you can scroll around, pan, zoom in, look at different planets. Oops, a lot of zooming in on the sun. There we go. Um, but what's quite nice as well if I do this, is you can play it forwards so I can tell it to start working through so you can see as the date clicks through how the different planets move relative to each other so you can see which ones are moving quicker because they're nearer to the sun, how the Earth and the Moon are rotating um, and you can look at how the other planets are also moving incredibly slowly around the sun um, there's a few other features as well which are quite fun um, you can change to actually zoom in on any one planet if you want to and just take a look at it in a bit more detail but um, I'll leave that for you to explore Another one that's really useful in for exploring um, things like forces and stuff like that is a thing called Algodoo, which used to be called Fun back in the day. Um, it then got uh, bought and turned into a paid product called Algodoo. Um, it's now been released as a free product again, which is cool. You can get it on the iPad as an app. You can also download it for free from the Algodoo website. Um, and when you do that, um, basically what you get is um, a thing which looks a little bit like this. Um, you can draw all the objects on the screen with a pen. This is lovely on the interactive whiteboard. Um, when you then play the animation, you can then interact with things. If I draw anything on the screen, if I turn on the pencil and draw an object, that object then becomes real and becomes part of the world. So you can add things to the screen. Um, you can look at pivots. Um, you can hinge things. I can interact with an object and I can pull it and I can move it and see how they interact. Uh, you can also change the properties so I can then turn something from being um, a solid into a liquid and see what happens to that, how it flows um, and you can change any object into liquid and watch it flowing in track, you can contain it to other objects and so on. Um, it's a fun simulation, it will say it works brilliantly on the interactive whiteboard because you can just draw any object you want to, link them together, pivots, springs, um, change gravity, change centre of mass and so on, so it's a really fun, fun thing to play with. Um, and then um, finally, because I'm running out of time, um, there's a whole new thing on in year six. Evolution is now back in, and so there's a study of Charles Darwin, uh, also of Wallace as well. Um, Google Street View have now gone to the Galapagos Islands and done a street view of the Galapagos Islands. Um, and this lets you explore lots of different locations in the Galapagos Islands, um, walk around them, study them, and basically walk in Darwin's footsteps, which is really quite cool. So if you want to go around the islands themselves, the kids can take a little virtual field trip to the Galapagos 
and um, try and find tortoises like this um, and see the kind of things that Darwin studied um, and came up with his origin of species. Right, I'm over my time, um, so I hope you found that useful. I will put the addresses up uh, at the end of this video and also put them up on the blog as well. My blog address is www.whiteboardblog.co.uk and I am Danny Nick on Twitter. Thank you very much for listening.